In 1902, the Zionists organized a conference in Paris to plot regime change. They wanted the Ottoman Empire to have regime change. Why? Because the Ottoman Empire controls Jerusalem, controls the Holy Land. And the Zionists want a state of Israel in the Holy Land, which will eventually rule the world. They plotted, therefore, in 1902 for regime change in the Ottoman Empire, in Constantinople. In the same year of 1902 that they were plotting the destruction of the Ottoman Empire, they had Dajjal sent Abdulaziz ibn Saud to Riyadh to take control of Riyadh so that a state of Saudi Arabia could eventually be created to replace the Ottoman Empire, controlling the world of Islam on behalf of Dajjal. That was 1902. In 1907, again plotting for the destruction of the Ottoman Empire, Britain and France embraced Russia in a triple alliance. But Russia was always the enemy. How come you now want friendship with Russia? Why? Because they need people to fight the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman army is a powerful army, and they want to use the Russians as guinea pigs, the way the Indians are today being used as guinea pigs. And what, how will they get Russia on their side? They use a bit. They offered Russia Constantinople. The Ottoman Empire is a sick man of Europe. When the, Russian, when the Ottoman Empire collapses, we, Britain and France, promise you Constantinople. And Russia fell for the bit. But not anymore. You can give Russia all the bait you want today. It's not going to fall for it. No, not today's Russia. And so that was 1907. 1908 and regime change in the Ottoman Empire. They succeeded in six years. It's unimaginable. It just took them six years. In 1908, regime change in the Ottoman Empire and the the so-called Islamic government is replaced now with a secular government, the Young Turks. The Young Turks who will now do things that the Muslims would not do. Yes, the Young Turks uh, who are secular nationalists. That was 1908. And now they prefer, the, the new government in the Ottoman Empire is waging war on Islam. They need this. Why? They need a godless government in Constantinople. Why? Answer, because they want the Arabs to turn against the Ottoman Empire. They want the Arabs to fight with them to be able to defeat the, uh, the Ottoman troops in the Holy Land. That's why they need a godless government in Constantinople. We know your plans. We've understood you very well, and we're teaching our people now. This was 1908. And then, finally, in preparation for the Great War, which we know is coming in 1908, as today we know another Great War is coming. But there are those who eat biryani and go to sleep. They don't care. Leave them. In 1913, they did something very extraordinary in the world of money. They created the Federal Reserve Bank in the United States of America. It's a private bank. And the Federal Reserve Bank will now issue U.S. currency notes. And the U.S. currency note will say, in God we trust. But these fellows are very clever. Very, very clever. The Federal Reserve Board Bank is created because they need to finance the war which is coming. They need to be able to get a vast amount of money to finance the war which is coming so they can conclude this mighty war, this first world war in history, quickly. And the only way you can do that is with bogus money. <laughs> So the Federal Reserve 
is going to be allowed to print paper, issue paper, and you don't have the gold to back it. Remember, the government of the United States of America is, on, is, is contractually obligated that 20 US dollars is worth one ounce of gold. So you're not supposed to print more paper than you have gold. But where is the policeman to check? No. So the United States can print paper, and Britain and France can print paper in order to be able to finance the war. When Germany attempts to do the same thing, they know how to bring down the German mark the way the Venezuelan Bolivar today is in no man's land, and the Pakistani rupee and the Algerian dinar and the Bangladeshi taka and the Serbian dinar, etc. So the German money is in no man's land finished, but they are printing paper to finance the war. This is 1913, remember. The Federal Reserve Bank is established. The body of Pharaoh was discovered just about 15, 16 years ago. And by 1913, the Federal Reserve Bank is established. The Great War began in 1914. What was it? In the city of Sarajevo, uh, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand is on a state visit of Sarajevo, and he was assassinated by a Serbian nationalist because the Ottoman Empire has been waging unjust war on the uh, Orthodox Christians. And uh, there is also uh, Roman Catholic versus Orthodox Christians rivalry in the Balkans. And this led to the assassination of, the Fran of Franz Ferdinand, the Archduke of Austria, Hungary, in the summer of 1914. And this eventually led to the First World War. The Ottoman Empire tried to stay out of the war. But they had moved the pawns on the chessboard so cleverly that eventually the Ottoman Empire had no choice but to join the war on the side of Germany and Austria-Hungary. And so on the one side, you have Russia allied with Britain and France in a mysterious triple alliance. And on the other hand, you have Germany, Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire waging what is known as the First World War. When this war was going on, uh, it appeared that Germany would win the war because the Germans brought a new weapon of war, never used before, something called a submarine. And uh, the Germans were able to maroon Britain and Britain was losing the war. It was at that time uh, you had British spies in Arabia, and you had uh, uh, Jewish forces at work in the United States of America. On the one hand, the British spies in Arabia would take, took money with them to bribe the Arabs to join with them, uh, Sharif Hussein, who was the great-grandfather or the great-great-grandfather of the present King of Jordan, was appointed as Sharif of Mecca by the Ottoman Khalifa. Uh, he took seven million pounds from the British Treasury to betray <laughs> his Muslim brothers. And Abul Aziz ibn Saud, I think he was given 500,000 pounds a month, something like that. I can't remember the figure. But they bought them both. And on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean now, you have the, the Judeo-Christian alliance trying to get Britain, the uh, United States, into the war. It was at that time that the Jews got Britain to agree that if you will promise to give us Jerusalem, we will get the United States into the war. Oh, but Germany had been in exceptionally kind to the Jews. How could the Jews betray Germany like this? 
the Germans never knew about this until afterwards. Yes. Britain then responded and issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, uh, promising the Jews, the, Bal the, the um, Zionist uh, movement, uh, a, holy, um, uh, a, a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. This is the Balfour Declaration of 19, October 1917. One month later, the British Army, supported by thousands of Arabs, were able to defeat the Ottoman Empire uh, army, and Jerusalem was liberated for the Jews. And then the British general declared, today the Crusades are over. The same month, or maybe it was October, a third thing happened, and that is that Russian troops are only one arm's length away from Constantinople. Britain and France had promised Russia you get Constantinople, but they were giving a promise that they never intended to keep. That's their way. The British way and the French way is to tell monstrous lies and to deceive. That is what they have left be behind them in history, that they are liars, and they deceive Russia. When the Russian troops were one arm's length away from Constantinople, then the Russian Jews acted. And they brought about regime change in Russia. It was called the Bolshevik Revolution. And they killed the entire family of the Tsar, took over Russia, and then proceeded for the next 70, 80 years in waging war on the religious way of life to destroy Orthodox Christianity. These are all facts. My, Christ my critics can do what they want. I am giving you facts. These are things that actually occurred. And then as soon as the Bolshevik Revolution took place, Russia withdrew from the war. And so Constantinople is now safe for the Russia for the British um, and, the, and the French and the American. Um, United States entered the war, and eventually they were able to defeat Germany, and Germany had to surrender. And the Ottoman Empire was not only defeated, the Russian